What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Playmaker Way with the playbook, and y'all read the title, man. This simple support resistance strategy helps you find sniper entries every single time. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I appreciate you giving this video a chance. Make sure to hit that bell and sub button because we don't just post weekly content like this, but we also live stream and live trade every day. We'll end the session 3 in EST on this very same channel. So we're looking at GPAUD. This was an actual GA trade I called for the members. Also broke this down with a London session live stream. And you can see we're up around TP4 right now. We also have a free signal free telegram. As you can see right here, this is how we did last month for uh, May. We went 16 and four, giving us 80% win rate, cost 69,396 pips. You can see this by going to June 3rd. You can also see some student results and testimonial and over a thousand receipts of screenshots of student results testimonials screenshots of actual position of trades i took screenshots of signals i called all that good stuff so make sure to hit that first link in the description and check all that stuff out now that's how we did last month now how we did quarter one to start the year off we went 53 and 4 giving us a 93 percent win rate january we went 20 and 0 catching 37,620 pips February went 17 and one, catch 24,403 pips. Then March, we went 16 and three, catch 49,783 pips, catching a total of 111,806 pips. You can see this by scrolling to April 4th. You click right here, you click right here, so we'll take it to the beginning of the year. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So we're gonna break down why we took this trade and how you can catch a simple setup like this. Rule number one is you want to go with the flow of price on the bigger time frames. We're on the 15 right now, but you need to identify the trend on the bigger time frames because that's how price works. Price moves on a bigger time frame. For example, if you look up stocks or crypto, they're not gonna pull up a five minute chart. They're gonna show you a four hour, a daily, a monthly, or a yearly. Now I'm not saying go on a yearly chart, yearly time frame but you need to at least go on the daily because price moves on day by day, week by week, month by month basis. The reason why a lot of people get caught in these fake outs and liquidity sweeps is because they're trying to identify the trend and figure out the direction price is going long-term on a small time frame. When price on a smaller time frame is just explaining what price is doing at that exact moment. The bigger time frames tell you what price is going to be doing long-term and throughout the day, all right? Now that brings us into step number two. Step number two is you want to wait for retesting the confirmations. So we're gonna see here that there's clear bullish momentum, price breaking multiple levels, clear bullish momentum. But what would have happened if we didn't wait for a retest of confirmation here? What would have happened if we would have just entered the trade just because price touched this level? We would have took an unnecessary loss where all we had to do was wait another 15, 30 minutes. And we could have saw clearly price was not ready to hold this low ass support. Right. And then again here, see, so we would have took an unnecessary loss for no reason, just because we was impatient versus what we're going to see take place here in a second. We're going to see price respected and held this low ass support, which is what we went for the buy. boom right you see how it didn't hold this level of support here or here but it's respecting this level as support so you always want to wait for that retest and confirmation you should never be in a rush to take a trade that retest and confirmation is going to stop you from losing unnecessary trades and unnecessary money because as you can see after waiting for that retest and confirmation all it took was some volume and the rest was history you see what I'm saying? So again, you always want to wait for a retest of confirmation. Now that brings us into number three. You need to understand that strong support can also be a strong resistance level. And a strong resistance can also be a strong support level. You see how this gold line price was treating this level as a resistance time and time again, but yet we took this buy off the same level. Why? Because again, when volume kicked in, it broke this level and went from resistance to 
support like we see right here. So always keep that in mind. There is no strictly resistance level. There is no strictly support level. It's based on what we're about to get into right now. The trend, you will need to go with the flow of price. If we are in an uptrend, only go for buys. If we're in a downtrend, only go for sales, right? Because again, the goal is to go for high probability, high quality setups. So if we're in an uptrend, we have a higher likelihood of price continuing to go up versus if we're in an uptrend, the yes, S price is gonna retrace to the downside a little bit. But if you look at any uptrend, like even this one right here, the moves up are way bigger than the moves down. Move up, way bigger than the move down. Move up, way bigger than the move down. So let me ask you this. Would you rather catch these consecutive green candlesticks or are you okay with just catching one quick red candlestick and then possibly getting caught in a quote unquote fake out or quote unquote liquidity sweep? It's up to you, right? Just like in a downtrend, the moves down are way bigger than the moves up. Move down, bigger than the move up. Move down, bigger than the move up. Move down. And then again, this is kind of getting choppy to solid, but you, you get the point. You get what I'm saying? So always keep that in mind. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. You go with the flow of price. Always. You identify the trend on the bigger time frame. You wait for the retest and confirmations and you patiently wait and let price do the work. When you do this, you're not fighting price. You're not competing. You're just simply determining what price is most likely going to do and then letting the charts do all the work for you. It's that simple, y'all. And this is how you catch big moves like this. This is how you catch big moves like this. Again, a huge one to five risk reward. This is how you catch huge moves like this. And it's, and it's, it's literally that simple, y'all. Again, you see here, same thing. Resistance level, turn to support. Resistance level, turn to support. Resistance level, turn to support. And then back to support to resistance support to resistance support to resistance if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe comment down below any questions comments concerns you may have make sure to hit that first link in the description on the free signal room, free telegram if you're interested in learning how to identify these levels my signal room services or my mentorship programs make sure to hit those links in the description and before you make a decision let me tell you a little bit about those details advanced place signal room, we trade tokyo session exclusively with the members we trade london session and then new york just like the sunday chart now that i drop in the free signal room, i drop one every day during new york session called the new york price watch list this is where i go over the trades we took during tokyo session london session and possible sales going into new york i don't just say we're looking for buys or looking for sales i explain why we're looking for buys why we're looking for sales and then i take it a step further and go over key price points to look for entries and exits on as you can see here i call this signal you see i'm walking y'all through what's going on with the trades we're in i'm giving y'all updates to what i talked about in the new york price watch list and then of course you see me showing y'all screenshots to visually show y'all what's going on behind the scenes or what i see on my end behind the scenes all right we also have exclusive live streams that we go live during new york news events at least twice a week and just like the london session lives if you missed the live they record it and post it in here so you can watch them when you get a chance you have access to over 500 videos of daily chart analysis and weekly live streams and in fact you have access to even the ones last year in 2022 then there's also the pinned messages like the account size key the student and member group chat and much more now i also have the course of course the course doesn't just teach you my trading strategy it also teaches you how to read the charts because that's what i teach y'all you saw i had no indicators no trend lines it's simply just market flow and trading and entering and exiting off key price levels now all the stuff that i just went over you get access to all that stuff in the course channel so that way you not only do you have the step-by-step -step playbook of how to look and read any chart at all times but you have ongoing chart analysis ongoing education for life now i also have one-on-one -on -one sessions one-on-one -on -one sessions also comes with access to the advanced play signal room and the student member group chat that way you can earn while you learn but then you also get two sessions a week that are recorded an hour long 
but you also get two sessions a week that are recorded and are an hour long and they're sent to you same day. Those are yours to keep for life. So if you're interested in that, hit those links in the description. If y'all wanna contact me directly, y'all can DM me on Instagram at playmaker underscore way. Also make sure to follow me on there and TikTok underscore playmaker way underscore. I post daily on both pages. And I'll see y'all next time I'm live or next time I post a video. Peace, we out.